Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the show. I'm Amira Badawi and I'm Yusuf and you're watching CAB TV Ramadan special. Tonight, as it is the eve of the day, Imam Ali was struck by his enemies. He was attacked and struck by a poison sword as he led Fajr prayers on the morning of the 19th of Ramadan in 14 AH in the city of Kufa. Imam Ali, peace be upon him, had spent the night in the house of his daughter, Um Kulthum, peace be upon her. He spent the night in prayer and du'a and reciting the Holy Qur'an. Our Imams would always be seen reciting the Holy Qur'an and to follow in their footsteps, it's time for us to kickstart this episode with a recitation from the Holy Qur'an. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahman ar-rahim Amma yatsa'alun Anin Nabail Azim Alladhi hum fihi mukhtalifun Kalla sayalamun Thumma kalla sayalamun Alam naj'alil arda mihada والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا وجعلنا النهار معاشا وَبَنَيْنَا فَوْقَكُمْ سَبْعًا شِدَادًا وَجَعَلْنَا سِوَاجًا وَهَاجًا وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِوَاتِ مَاءً ثَجَّاجًا لنخرج به حبا ونباتا وجنات الفافا ان يوم الفصل كان ميقاتا يوم ينفق في الصور فتاتون افواجا وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا وسيرت الجبال فكانت سوابا إن جهنم كانت مرصادا للطاغين مآبا لابثين فيها أحقابا لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شوابا إلا حميما وغساقا جزاء وفاقا إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا وكذبوا بآياتنا كذابا وكل شيء أحصيناه كتابا فذوقوا فلن نزيدكم إلا عذابا إن للمتقين مفازا حدائق وأعنابا وكواعب أتوابا وكأسا دهاقا لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا كذابا جزاء ربك عطاء حسابا رب السماوات والأرض وما
وما بينهما الرحمن لا يملكون منه خطابا يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفا لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن إلا من أذن له الرحمن وقال صوابا ذلك اليوم الحاق فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربه مآبا إنا أنذرناكم عذابا قريبا يوم ينظر المرء يوم ينظر المرء ما قدمت يداه ويقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا صدق الله العلي العظيم شهر الخير والغفران The internet is a place we go to play games with our friends. We learn a lot of different things and keep up with the trends. We sign in two different places, we tap, we tap and click. But sometimes on the internet we forget to stop and think. The internet can be a dangerous place if we don't know all the rules. But watching CyberSafe can help me pick up all the tools. Salam alaikum. And welcome to an episode of CyberSafe, the show that teaches you how to use the internet safely. In today's episode we will discuss cyberbullying. So what is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying or electronic aggression means deliberately using technology such as smartphones, the internet, social media or gaming environments to harass, humiliate, badmouth or threaten someone. Like any form of bullying, cyberbullying can poison someone's joy in life, reputation and well-being. In a recent survey, 56% of young children said they've seen others be bullied online. 42% said they have felt unsafe online. Cyberbullying and electronic aggression have caused a great deal of suffering that can be prevented. So what are the different types of cyberbullying? Harassment. This is an act of sending offensive, rude and insulting messages and being abusive. Harassment can be nasty or humiliating comments on posts, photos and in chat rooms, or being offensive on gaming sites. Flaming. This is purposely using offensive language and getting into online arguments and fights. Spreading rumours. This is when you send information about other people that is fake, damaging and untrue. Sharing photos to make fun of someone or changing photos and posting them online. Impersonation. Making up fake profiles on the internet to embarrass someone or poke fun of them or hacking into their account to post things on their behalf. Trickery. Tricking someone into revealing secrets to forward it to other people or tricking them into sending you photos and videos. Cyberstalking. This is when you carry on sending messages that include threats, harassment or intimidation. Exclusion. When you intentionally leave someone out of a group, like group messages, online apps, gaming sites and other online pages. This is also a form of social bullying. Now that we've learned what cyberbullying is and what the different types are, let's look at tips on staying cyber safe from cyberbullying. 1. Remember that people on the internet lie about who they are. 2. Keep your personal information private so people can't use it against you. 3. Be careful that you're not acting like a bully. 4. Don't go on sites where people treat you badly. You could always be extra cyber safe and have a cyberbullying plan. If you are ever cyberbullied, here's what to do. 1. Stay calm. Think. Don't react. Reacting hurts you and gives bullies what they want. 2. Stop the activity or ignore the bully. 3. Tell the bully to stop. Don't be a bully or make threats when you do this. 4. Tell a trusted adult. 5. Block the bully. 6. 
If you know the bully, send copies of the bullying to his or her parents, to your teacher, or politely ask them to stop it. 7. With the help of your adult, contact the police and notify them if you are being threatened. You can also help your friend be cyber safe too. When you see posts bullying someone, tell the bully to stop. Remind them that bullying isn't cool. Offer your friendship and support to people who are bullied. If the bullying doesn't stop, tell a trusted adult before it gets out of hand. We've nearly come to the end today, but not before we visit our internet safety rhyme. I keep my information safe, I don't let people know. My name, address or number or which call I go. I never talk to strangers if they're not a real life friend. No matter who they say they are, it could be just pretend. If I take a photo of a friend, I'm always well aware to watch if it's okay with them before I click and share. I'm always kind to others in the playground and on screen. I never write or tell them things that are hurtful, bad or mean. I always ask an adult before I go online. If we look at things together, I know I will be fine. If I ever see something that makes me scared or sad, I tell an adult I can trust and it won't be so bad. Despite being poor and living a simple life, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, would never let any poor man at the door leave disappointed. One example of his generosity was once, after he had worked at a barley field to earn some grain, he ended up not taking any of it as he had generously donated the portions to a beggar, an orphan and a prisoner, all three who had come to him and asked him for food. Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was not only a kind and humble person, but also an eloquent speaker. An example of his eloquence can be shown in this next clip. Stay tuned. My dearest child, have I ever told you about the time when there was a man who lived long before we did? The first man to accept the faith of the Prophet, Ali, son of Talib. He was a wise man who entrusted us with his words. We mustn't ever forget about these words. Now, my child, read this sermon out loud for me, will you, dear? Of course, Grandma. The tree of prophethood. We are the tree of prophethood, the place of descent, of divine revelation, the place of frequenting of the angels and the mainsprings of knowledge, those who help us and love us await God's mercy, and those who regard us with enmity and hatred await to be subdued by the Almighty's power and punishment. Oh, that was lovely. That was lovely to hear, my little one. Now let's close this book and keep it in a safe place before we go to sleep. Where shall I put it? Put it on that shelf, dear. The one over here? Yes, right over there, next to the red book. Here? Aha, uh -huh, that's the one. Allahumma Rabba Shahri Ramadan Al-Nabi Anzalta Fihi Al-Quran One day Harun Rashid gave Bahlul some money and told him to distribute it among the poor and needy. Bahlul took the money but a moment later gave it back to the Khalifa who asked the reason why he did this. Bahlul said, I thought a lot but found no one more dependent and more poor than the Khalifa. This is the reason why I return the money. I see that your guards and officers stand in the shops and whip people, collect tax and revenue and then pour them all into your treasures. So I thought that you are the most needy person and gave the money back to you. again. So after all these poems that I kept finding, I was inspired to write some of my own. But 
But obviously, I couldn't stay away from you guys for too long. So, I'm going to recite the poem that I wrote, which I'm very proud of, by the way. And you have to guess what my poem is about. Do you get it? Awesome! Okay. When I was younger, I was always taught about the way I should aim to be. I was told not to let my heart rot and to always give so generously. I was told to help the elderly in times of need and to be a helping hand whenever I can. The aim is to take the lead, to be kind to all of man. If someone falls next to you, make sure to help them off the floor. As you come to their rescue, that's what Allah adores. When you walk down the street and see someone who is really thirsty, give them a smile as you meet. Offer them water or maybe a cup of tea. What am I? Generosity. Thank you so much for listening to my poem. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed guessing what it was about. Maybe it'll inspire you to write your own poems. Maybe about generosity or hijab, as I mentioned before. See you next time on The Rhyming Factory. I often think that people from a thousand years ago were living in the Dark Ages. But in Muslim civilization from the 7th century onward, there were amazing advances and inventions that still influence our everyday lives. The concept of pedigree, tracing the ancestry of an animal, especially a horse, originated in Muslim Spain and is used throughout the world today for all kinds of animals. So, we have been looking at the verse from Dua al iftitah to understand the deeper meaning of the words behind the Dua, which was taught to us by the Imam of our time. Ah. Assalamu alaikum. How wonderful the world is. Mountains, rivers, forests, farmland, lakes and grassland that all evidence Allah's bounty and grace. How blessed we are to be able to communicate with the magnificent Creator who brought everything into existence and has made it possible for us to survive and benefit from all of His bright and beautiful signs. He facilitated means whereby all of us may draw benefit from the light of guidance that he sent down with the Holy Messenger and his progeny, whom he appointed examplers and role models for humankind. May Allah Almighty enable us to be included under the supervision of the owner of the time, Imam al-Mahdi, who is always with us, illuminating our way, even though we're not able to see him. Imam al-Mahdi shares his words in the inspiring Dua al-Iftitah that all believers read during the holy month of Ramadan. Let us listen to a part of this Dua 
and find out what it means. والخلف الهادي المهدي حججك على عبادي وأمنائك في بلادي صلاة كثيرة دائمة In this part of the dua the words we hear say, O oh Allah, please also bless the truthful pure Lady Fatima, who is without peer among all the women in the world. And please also bless the sons of mercy of the world, the two who lead all to the right path, Al Hassan and Al Hussein, masters of the youth of paradise. And please also bless the divine Muslim leaders, Ali, son of Hussein, and Muhammad, son of Ali, and Jafar, son of Muhammad, and Musa, son of Jafar, and Ali, son of Musa, and Muhammad, son of Ali, and Ali, son of Muhammad, and Hassan, son of Ali, and the successor, rightly guided one and guide, the final Imam, entrusted with your authority, with your most abundant and everlasting blessings. These beautiful words move my heart as a humble servant of Allah and as an avid follower of Ahlubayt. Praise be to Allah, under whose protection we all are, today and every day of our lives. رمضان يا خير الشهور فيك المحبة بلا شرور فيك السنة فيك الضياء رمضان It's that time of day now for us to recite our daily du'a and up in the clouds Unfortunately, we've come to an end of our show, but don't worry because CAB TV is back at the same time tomorrow, so be sure to tune in. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and Salaam Alaikum.
أنا أحبك يا شعر الخير لأنك أحلى أيامي أحب أزور أحبابي وأخوالي وأعمامي أنا أحبك يا شعر الخير لأنك أحلى أيامي أنا أحبك يا شعر الخير